Talk just a little bit about what you've done. Well, in order to anchor these adjusters, uh, we had to put a cleat on the bottom of this angle to catch the adjuster bolt and I had to mill the cleat on my drill press and get a flat spot so that it could be drilled and uh, threaded for a 832 countersunk bolt which I'm putting in right now and uh, this should allow everything to slide past each other. It looks like I may have to countersink it a little more. Yeah. Okay. This is the adjuster bolt. nut and pass into the cleat and the cleat acts as a stop to hold the bolt where the adjustment can make this bolt move back and forth which will have this piece attached on it once we cut it. This should give us an adjustment for our motor that will go one inch in either direction. So we'll have a total of two inch travel to adjust our motor with. And, come on, cooperate. <laughs> well, there it goes. Well, this wasn't supposed to be a film about how to thread a bolt, but uh, these cleats were made out of uh, aluminum pieces that came out of a uh, electric meter box that we strapped out. Okay, I'm gonna put a washer on here. And a locking nut here, which will keep that nut in place. safety nut here to get it to be able to make this adjuster ride back and forth and push this. But you can see that when it turns this piece, I hope you can see it, this piece, this bolt turning is moving this angle out. So when the thing is turned over and these bolts go through these holes, what it will do when you adjust it is this bolt moves back and forth and this side here will flip over and mount onto it and this is what the motor hangs in and it will adjust back and forth across this piece here. I've got to take countersink, there's more. <laughs> 